Hey everybody, and welcome to Northern Lion and J. Smith OTI play Foul Play. I don't know, we'll probably come up with a snappier title than that. Uh, but as always, I'm joined by my co-conspirator, my partner in crime, the Jack to my cracker. Wait, that actually came out way more offensively than I intended. Uh, <laughs> J. Smith OTI. Wait, can I be the cracker to your Jack? Well, I mean, I guess so. It all depends we... on whether you want to be the racist or the sidekick. A little bit of both, maybe. Yeah, okay. Speaking of sidekicks, these, have you seen these these pictures of us? Dude, it's us. That is, that's me over there <laughs> on the right, and that's you over there on the left. Yeah, you actually, like, have a picture that looks quite similar to the, like, if you took the scarf off, that would be that one picture of you that's on the internet. Yeah, I've seen that picture. I've never worn what Dashforth is wearing here, because I'm not, like, 70 and really rich and living in the 19th century and, like, really crazy. But yeah. I, I like it nonetheless, the monocle and the mustache, which sounds, by the way, like a great name for a pub. Does monocle and mustache. Ooh. Yeah, the monocle and the mustache. Yeah. You could have a, a snifter of brandy. In any case. Mustache ride would be their staple drink. This is why I'm never inviting you into a position of management. <laughs> <laughs> Foul Play, uh, beat em up from Mediatonic Games, published by Devolver Digital. My video of it went up yesterday. I like this a whole lot. We played it at PAX. Uh, we liked it a whole lot, and it's a game that really shines in two players. So, you know, I said single player is the best beat em up that I've played since Castle, Castle Crashes, probably, and I stand by that. Uh, but in co op, it's even more fun. So, um, what do you say we, we play through part of the first act here? Like, I don't know how long the series is going to go on for. We might as well finish at least one act. That's my yeah, sure. philosophy. Um, so, we'll start on uh, play number one here. Mm -hmm. You have to ready up, by the way. I have to ready up. Yeah, and then we'll get started. I really like these little icons. It's really, this... it's us. <laughs> it so <laughs> is. In the video uh, comments, because we're recording this like the day after the foul play, or the day of the foul play video going up, people were like, mm -hmm. is it just me or does it look like Ryan and Josh are in this game? <laughs> so, uh, you know, we control the dialogue here. Good evening, I am the renowned demonologist Baron Dashforth. I hunt the dark and monstrous things in this world, like this bear, for example. Mm -hmm. Where do you get a top hat like that for the bear? I've spent my life binding and banishing the unspeakable. Sounds half right. And tonight I promise to recount these adventures to you. So we are it's story time with Uncle Monopoly Man. Mm -hmm. And I am going to skip through uh, a lot of the dialogue here, even though it's funny, just because this is not Northern Lion and Jason Smith OTI read, you know, Homer's The Iliad. Ooh. That would be pretty cool, though. I'm pretty sure <laughs> there wouldn't even be any copyright issues either, because that's got to be public domain by now. As you'd think. All right, so you and I were going to Cairo mm -hmm. to hunt this man. Yeah, but he's he's the guy from Indiana Jones. Is he? He looks like him. I, that's like an archetype, right? Like overweight, scandalous, kind of like North African man. I South think. African. Well, he uh, maybe he's British. I'm not sure what he's supposed to be, but I feel like he looks like a lot of characters that I've seen. So we got to stand Ooh. in our marks here to make this happen. Right. All right, so you you know we played this a couple weeks ago, at Pax. Do you remember? Um, What's going on here? You just slap people. Yeah, X, X, X and y. y. But whenever they do get ready to attack you, you can hit B, and then you'll parry them, and then you can um, do other stuff with them there. So, for example, if we get started here, I can parry this guy, then bash the shit out of him, and then if you bash the shit out of him and hit Y at the end after a parry, you'll do a pile driver. Yep. If you bash the shit out of him and hit B at the end, you'll do a throw. And, Ooh, okay. Um, if you bash the shit out of him... And hit Y at the end, you'll do another pile driver. I ran out of moves there. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Oh, okay. I saw the guy running, but I, I just I remembered that they get up and run off stage. Yeah, and they're actors, so you're not supposed to actually like ruin their faces or lives. Mm. There's some other moves. I, I'm not sure if you have them or if you unlock them over the course of the game. But you can like hold X and do a charge attack. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't think I have that. Do you have that? Yeah. Right now? Yeah. So, uh, we also do have some objectives beyond just beat the shit out of everybody on these mm -hmm. scenes. So, let's murder this man and pile... Oh, I thought that pile drove you, actually. Uh, <laughs> I know one of the objectives is uh, have a perfect scene, which means mm -hmm. you kill all the enemies without losing your combo. And right. I think one of the objectives is really easy. It's like take out an enemy... Or take out the enemy leader last, which is super, mm -hmm. super easy. That's like what you're supposed to do. I guess so. And you're also, you're also supposed to eat the red ones last. I will say, I'm not, oh. I'm not sure if you're noticing this, but uh, it does get a little framey at times when you're using fraps. Uh, mine's pretty good, I think. Well, then you should go watch this at youtube.com slash jsmithoti. Because <laughs> occasionally, uh, mine hangs up a little bit. Hmm. So, um, there, there has been, I'm not sure if this is a bug or what, but 
Uh, in online, I have not been able to build meter with both characters. Really? So if you look at it, like I have this yellow meter next to my name, and uh, like that's getting built up, which is awesome. Yours is not getting built up though, which is not my as awesome. Oh, yeah. Maybe that is a thing because mine's being built up. Yours is yellow. Oh wait, you can see yours? Yeah, I can see mine. Is it building? Yeah. Oh, that's super awesome. Then let me know when yours is ready, and we can unleash this at the same time. Mm -hmm. All right, and the, the final thing I want to talk about, don't murder this last man quite yet. Leave, like, one dude left alive, because if we parry him at the same time... Oh, I think I accidentally killed him. <laughs> oh. oh, good. Perfect. There you go. Congratulations. Stand on your mark, you scumlord. There we go. You know, I'm sorry. <laughs> Sometimes I forget. Um, let, let's try to parry this dude at the same time. Yeah, and then you mash the shit out of the button, and whoever hits him the most gets to do the finishing blow. Yes! So, you know, it's, it's adversarial. It's also cooperative, of course. I can't believe you got a perfect scene. I think my problem is I spend so much time waiting for the enemies to parry that I actually, like, <laughs> I should just bash the fuck out of them. Because you're killing me in score right now. Yeah, I got another perfect scene. Dude, what the heck, man? I'm sorry. Save some for the rest of the class. I thought you wanted it to, to me to, to do good. Well, I, I do want you to do, to do, to do, to to do, do well. Do. Yeah. Excuse me. Uh, no, oh. I do good by beating up bad. Is your meter available? Um, no. Okay, you let me know. No, it's, it's like, at the very lowest it can go. Oh, okay, so your meter is not growing, I think. It used to grow, I think. I thought I saw it grow. His meter grew six times, they said that day. Well, in the- oh! Yeah, suck on this man who's off the screen so much I can't even see what I'm doing. It's weird that- Yeah, Josh, how do you like that? That was good, I'm impressed. I performed a perfect scene. Oh. You can look for me at the AVN Awards. Dang. Oh, no! So I'm just gonna activate the meter because like, yeah. I don't think you're gonna get one. Oh, which that's too bad. That, that sucks for you, and that you is. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it. That's kind of a bug though, because remember, I, I thought we could both activate meter at PAX, and then we got like a trillion Super points. Score. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. It, it's a relatively minor quibble, but it is something. Unless I'm totally misremembering, and there actually was not two-player meter. But we were playing local there too, obviously not. Right. Uh, Online. <laughs> It'd be funny if we like were across like the whole PAX convention. Yeah, thing. Or it wasn't even at the convention center. Like we just played it in the hotel room. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> they were in the indie mega booth. Mm -hmm. Where dreams. I really like the indie mega. Who booth. Who doesn't like the indie mega booth? There's never been a person I went up to oh. be like, hey, you like the indie mega booth? They're like, hell no, I don't like the indie mega. The indie mega booth is amazing. The only thing I don't like about the indie mega booth is that it gets really crowded. But mm -hmm. they also had really comfortable T-shirts. Yeah, really, really comfortable T-shirts. Clay had the most amazing, like, double padded floor. Oh, yeah. You're not <laughs> wrong about that. So, uh, we are coming, like, fairly close to the end of this scene, I think. And if we do well enough, we will get an encore, which we did not get at PAX because we're terrible. But we saw, we saw that Kate got it at PAX, so we probably know right. what the deal with it is. Uh, but, you know, I, I'm kind of like fake setting the stage here because I've already played so much of this game that. It, it can't surprise me anymore. It's like a 40-year a marriage, you know? I'm, I, I like it because it's comfortable, but it, you know, it doesn't hold anything new for me anymore. We didn't get the encore. Well, it's not over yet. Oh. We still got a little bit more. Like we got Days a... and nights are passing. Exactly. I really like the uh, aesthetic of the game, how there's like these uh, environmental things in the background that kind of mm -hmm. phase in and out. The whole, the whole theater thing really catches my attention. It works really well. Really? There was another game like this. I think it was... Um, called Black Knight Sword or something like that, but it was, I think it was like kind of like a Volgar the Viking style 2D side-scrolling action game that came out last year, but I heard it was like really bad, so oh. that sucks. Sorry. Well, I mean, they're probably not watching. Right. But, well, they might be. And I, I shouldn't, like, I'm not even talking shit about the game. If, if they want to take... Yeah, we just heard it. Yeah, that's, that's what I heard from... Let us play it for ourselves. I mean, we could do that. I, I don't think it's out on the PC, which is, you know, probably one of the primary yeah. reasons I didn't play it in the first place. I thought I was one of the weird friend people, or you know, the enemy people. They kind of look like you as well. Right. I mean... Like the blue guy. He, I mean, he has less hair than me. Yeah. But he still has blue. He has more hair than I do. Mm -hmm. On his face, anyway. You gotta take his shirt off and look at his back and see if that claim gets verified. Oh, he's it's the Scorpion King. Yeah. This is the rock. So, if we get a 50 times combo here, you might be able to get all of the... Um, what was I going to say? All of the uh, challenges for this mission. And if you do, you actually unlock trinkets, which are kind of like 
Call of Duty style perks. And if you unlock all of those, or if you get those, you can equip them for awesome stuff. Like, for example, I think the one that you get for this mission is that, uh, oh. Ah, uh, yeah! Okay. Sorry, I got distracted got by my 50 times combo there. <laughs> Done. I, I, uh, I didn't get one. I don't even come close to the 50 times combo. Well, you know what helps me out is that I've already gotten all the challenges, so I've unlocked a trinket for this level. The trinket for this level gives you um, plus three combo every time you parry, which is huge. Yeah. So, yeah, you're going to town on him there. I'll jump. Ah, uh, uh, beat me. Yeah. But, oh, you can throw smaller enemies into bigger enemies and stun them. Like so. Yeah, there mm -hmm. you go. I don't even know what's going on. The screen's turning dark. No, me neither. <laughs> Just keep hitting. All right. Can I, I? I can't even. There we go. Yes. Yeah. I, got I don't know where I'm at. What the heck happened? <gasps> I think we both. I don't know. I think when I use the button, we both get two X actually, or when okay. I when I use the meter. So maybe that's what's going on there. Mm -hmm. He was off his rocker. Do you think that's actually meant to be like a a joke about the rock? Oh. He was off his rocker. rocker. Was yeah. The, was the rock bald in the Scorpion King? I want to say yes. Mm. Okay, so I think that was the beginning of his bald phase. Which is like for the rest of his life. Right. I, I would know. Oh, yeah. Once you go uh, bald, you never go back. I was looking for a rhyme, but it just doesn't exist. Mm. So in Encores, enemies die in one hit. So you can just like toss them into other enemies. And like every enemy you kill gives you a time bonus, I think. So you can just smack them around, or you can pick them up and pile drive them. It's really up to you. That was pretty good. I think we yeah. we only got four stars, which is pretty depressing. But uh, you know, you usually get five. Well, <laughs> you know, we shouldn't oh. we shouldn't uh, compare everything to the way that I do. But uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. did you get you got uh, you got, I got a new page? You got perfect combo, two of them, fifty times combo, and we defeated the enemy leader last, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Oh no, we didn't. I took out the bandit leader last. You apparently didn't. Oh, I'm scum. Yeah, way to go, Josh. Good job. Uh, let's hit the A button, mm -hmm. and then we will do Act 2. Sure. All right, so the challenges in this one, throw three enemies into breakable props, perform two ace returns, and perform three perfect scenes. So uh, an ace return is just when you parry when someone throws a projectile at you. Ooh. So maybe someone shoots a gun, you press the B button, and then it ricochets the bullet back at them. Sure. It's pretty easy. This is, this is uncharted territory for me. We didn't play this level of PAX. Mm, uh, I think you're right. I think we did not. All right. Uh, I'm ready. Yeah, ready up, and we'll be good to go here. So this is actually, like, one of the longest beat-em-ups I think I've, I've seen in a long time. Uh, so each level is roughly the same length as the last one we played, so it's like 10 minutes. Uh, mm -hmm. But then there's five acts. Or sorry, five plays, each with uh, five acts, except the last one only has two. So it's, really? it's like a six-hour long beat-em-up, I'm pretty sure. Wow. Which is, you know, you could beat Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4, Turtles in Time, in like 10 minutes. An hour. As you know. <laughs> or as you did, even, I guess I could yeah. say. Yeah. So this I would, fun. you know, it's not like we're doing MLG stuff here, but if you're interested in the game, I would encourage you to go back and get the. Are you serious? You got a perfect scene there already? Yeah. You gotta start early. Quite indubitably, Mr. Scampwick. I don't know. What, I I oh. hesitate like what to do with my accent, because uh, I want to be like a period Old and specific, British. right? But is that what it is? Are they? I mean, I, they're British, of course. I guess they are old. But what era, man? Is this like the 1600s? Uh, when do people fight demons? N that people. Uh, that was the Great Demon Wars of uh, 1995. Well, there you go. That was that's when this is set. When our uh, Great overlords at Yum Food Brands introduced the Big Crunch combo to KFC that wiped out all the demons in the uh, Midwestern United States. What's the Big Crunch combo? You don't have Big Crunch combo in the U.S.? I don't think so. Okay, so KFC's got all these chicken sandwiches, right? Yeah. This They have a sandwich in Canada called the Big Crunch combo. It's just like a really, really crunchy sandwich. It's like a fred, uh, breaded deep fried chicken breast, but it's big. They should deep fry bread. I don't know. Bread it bread. Could you do that? Because like I feel like it would really soak up the the oil. I want to like deep fry. I want a deep fried chicken. Yeah. Deep fried sandwich. A deep. You want uh, the whole sandwich deep fried. Yeah. I think what you could do is like after you made the sandwich, you could like wrap it in a tortilla and then deep fry it. That sounds good. And then it's not because the tortilla necessarily adds anything from a, a culinary standpoint. Like I don't think you're going to be getting any, uh, you know, extra Michelin stars for it, but. Michelin stars? Michelin Are we getting tires now? Mi Michelin, the French company responsible for rating uh, high-class restaurants. 
For real. You're talking about my head. It's no, about my pay grade, Northern Lion. I didn't get a perfect combo there? Nope. I think you you steal all the aggro, so I can't actually keep my combo going. But you, you jelly. I am the little jelly. They can't fire these cannons, by the way. I, I know what question you might have had coming into your head. They, we can't fire the cannons. No, they I know. Can. Yeah, exactly. No, neither. N neither party can fire the cannons. That's some BS. I know. It's like, you know, again, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4, Turtles in Time, the greatest game ever made, sewer surfing neon night riders. <laughs> um, you know, you, you see like a fire hydrant, you smack it, and it shoots out a big torrent of water at the uh, enemies. Mm -hmm. So you want to come over here and be like, come on, and maybe with two of us we can... Yeah, yeah, with our powers combined. Maybe like a charge attack. Wah! No, doesn't work. I don't work. have a charge attack. Can you hold the button down? Hold X. Yep. Oh, yeah, you got to unlock it. Okay. Mm. I unlocked. It said I unlocked a move. Yeah, I, don't know I think I think the first move you unlock is actually like the throw. So that mm. that's just like parry and then B again. I uh I didn't get a perfect combo this time. I haven't gotten a perfect scene at all. Well, I got one last match, but. You have to get three Zing away from you. Yeah, you have to get three on this mission, which is like impossible. Mm -hmm. When you're I got two last mission. Yeah, but you're stealing all the damn aggro. Oh yeah, I'm an aggro stealer, I'm like the aggro crag. Yeah, from um, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Global guts. Um, there you go. You now, yes, good idea to throw enemies into breakable props so you get the challenges. Is that one of the challenges? Yeah, if you throw three enemies into breakable props, you get. Uh, you get uh, closer to that trinket. So, oh, you ruined my combo! I know. Not button. only, I'm I'm trying to ruin. Oh, I'm trying to ruin your combo, but I'm also trying. Are you serious? You got more than me there? Yep. But I'm also trying to like break all the breakable props so that you can't actually achieve your challenge. You are such a scum. That's what you get. I thought we were a team. Every beat 'em up game is 80% co-op, 20% I hate you because you're my older brother. <laughs> Yummy or younger brother? You're not even my brother, but. We could be. We'd be good brothers. I don't know if we're allowed to say that. <laughs> Why? Yeah, I don't know. I was trying to make a joke. Oh! Trying to make a joke about a race. Might not have been the best oh, idea. I get you. <laughs> All right, so this is where you're going to do your uh, ace returns. Almost said race returns, but anyway. So <laughs> Everything's we're, about race with I you. I know. What can I say? We were playing Sonic and All-Stars Racing get... Transformed yesterday, and it's just yeah. it's clouded my worldview. Do we get the Do we get the B meters? Like, the press the B button. I don't know what that. What do you mean by that? Oh, wait, when they're when they're about to shoot the guns. Yeah, when they're about to shoot their guns, just hit the button. There's gonna be a lot more of these musketeers, so maybe even as many as three of them. So, oh, I feel like you get the. Yeah. You got him. I pile drove the shit out of him like the big show. You did. Uh, but yeah, if we stand far away from these guys, it's possible that they might actually try to shoot their guns at you, but they haven't done it so far. So nope. I. You know, I guess they're just scared. They know what our, your challenge is as well. I paid them off. Five pounds sterling before the match. Th what? I didn't you parry him? I did parry him. I got the you X button. Parry him. The X button showed up. Oh, he's gonna shoot. When they're, their hands are shaking, their knees weak, and arms are heavy, Mom Spaghetti uh, is when they're gonna shoot their gun at you. Yeah, there we go. It's actually really easy to do because I don't know about you, but I find myself mashing the B button. Like constantly in combat, so I just like accidentally return the shots a lot. Mm. You stole him away from me after I parried him. Yep. It's kind of a scum move. I returned two ace returns. No, you returned one. Oh yeah. But when you get the next one, you'll be good to go. I wish these guys would have a little bit more aggro so that uh, they would actually attack me. God damn it! I had him in my sights. You. St oh. <laughs> Why do you steal all of my thunder, Josh? Because you yell at me all the time. You try to murder me, and you're a mean person sometimes. I guess our combo system does not work anymore. Or our, uh, like, dual parry system does not work anymore. Mm -mm. Let's try that again. All right. Yeah! God, do you have a little turbo controller or something? This is so unfair. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm hitting the button so fast, I'm actually running out of breath. And, like, my arm and the right <laughs> side of my chest hurts. <laughs> No, not from like a heart palpitation or something, but like a we got a perfect scene. Nice. That was two out of three for me. But like physical, like the muscle is actually lactic acid buildup. And you're still beating me. Lactic acid. You got a that's, that's space acid. You've got an elastic band like wrapped around your controller. Yeah. That's, How does that work? You know, because then you can go to sleep and you can still level up to level 50 in um, Final Fantasy VII. I don't understand. You never did that as a kid? You're like, oh, I need to be like at least level 70 to beat Sephiroth. So you just like 
put an analog or uh, put an elastic band around your analog stick and then like a rock on the X button so that you just win every battle you come in contact with. Mm, nope. All right. Well, I uh, never played Final Fantasy. VII. Somebody obviously wasn't part of the cool kids. I wasn't. I had a, I had a Nintendo 64. Wow. What are you playing Quest 64 over there? No, I didn't play any. I played like Mario Kart. That was fun. All Star Baseball 2000. N um, Pokemon Stadium. You played Pokemon Stadium. You didn't? No, I didn't have Pokemon Stadium. I asked my parents to buy me Pokemon Stadium for Christmas one year. They got me Pokemon Snap. Like, Is this the same? Uh, Mom, you just don't understand. I like Pokemon Snap. Yeah, we it, played it. We did play Pokemon Snap. It was um. Oh, are you fucking serious? I don't. Why? Why do I even bother with those? Why don't you stay on your side? I'll stay on my side because it's obvious that like I can't be trusted to ever win one of those. Here, right. you can have this guy too. Why don't you have a? No, it didn't work. Enjoy your perfect scene. I didn't get it. I'm sorry to ruin your perfect scene with my presence. There you go. I didn't get a perfect scene. This guy's still alive? Yeah, I, I beat him off the screen for you. <laughs> you I beat him, beat him off. off. <laughs> <laughs> During this scene right here, I'm going to take a sip of my coffee. I'm going to take a sip of my water. Mm. Mm. That's good, you know. This mm. guy is very Castle Crashers uh, yeah. esque. Like first enemy type deal, the first main boss. Yeah, he's pretty like, annoying actually for uh, first main boss. I'm gonna teach you a secret for dealing with General Kane. Uh, well, Ben Kane. Yeah, it is General uh, General Obi Wan Ben Kane Kenobi. What is he doing? He's he made DLC quests. No, no. What is this boss <laughs> doing? I know Ben. Kane. <laughs> Sometimes he stands still and we can't hit him, I guess, which is a little unusual. Yeah, what's he doing? He's like humping the ground. Well, that's like I can't. You can't get me. Uh, but here's the secret for this boss. If you manage to get like some enemies uh, in range of him or in line with him, you can throw enemies at him, and then it'll stun him, and then you can go to town on his butt. Mm. I, I'm pretty sure in the single player mode you can hit him when he's doing that weird thing, where he just like humps the ground as as you so eloquently mentioned. Sometimes you just gotta hump the ground. Yeah, he also does this thing where he like bounces around on his cannon. Uh, so well, here we go. This should work. I'll throw this guy at him, and he should get stunned. Oh no, he's doing his weird little bounce like uh, that guy in Alley Cat Blues. Alley Cat Blues. Yeah. Uh, the the boss. Yeah. yeah. The turtle. He's the not. He's not. He's turtle. a cyborg. Yeah. Like a turtle. 3 a.m. Mechanism. Let's kick oh. shell. Is that it? Mm, nope. Dude, I don't know if you're noticing the audience. Wow! I ace returned his cannonball at him. I didn't even know that worked. Uh, it was good. But uh, it again. the audience like hates us. Yep. I'm gonna keep throwing people at him. That's a good idea. I don't think it's gonna work. Oh, let's just beat him. He's low. Yeah. Like a flow rider song. Oh, is he dead? No, he's hurt though. Not yet. Oh, dynamite! Oh my god. I, I thought that dynamite would kill us. Nope. Alright, so. That's basically like half of the first act done. We probably got an encore there. We did really well. No? Okay. Fuck me then. We only got four stars again. Yep. We're basically like pure scum. You had the greatest combo. I like the greatest combo. <laughs> it would it <laughs> would only be the true greatest combo if it was actually 69, but... True. All right. So it turns out it. we suck. You got three perfect scenes? Well, that wasn't in this one. It was just because I've done it before. Oh. So uh, why don't we call it quits on this episode for now, but we'll be back with more foul play as of tomorrow. Uh, I'm Northern Lion. Go watch... Uh, I'm G Smith. Excuse me, I was still talking there. I was going to do the, the promotion for you so it wasn't scummy self-promotion. Oh, okay. Yeah, feel free. Go watch this shit lord. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> go check out J Smith OTI's channel. He's got lots of good stuff over there. He's doing a thing a week where he's playing a bunch of Risk of Rain. It's going to change every week, so maybe you're like, fuck, I hate Risk of Rain, but I want to see more of other things that I might like. Go subscribe to his channel, watch his foul play coverage, because it doesn't have frame rate issues like mine occasionally does, and he's a nice guy. I'm a nice guy. Go I promise. It's super fun. Enjoy it. YouTube.com slash JSmithOTI. Go subscribe to his channel. Yep. I'm not going to find you if you don't, but it'd be a good idea. I mean, if, totally you, good idea. if you like his content, subscribe. I'm not subscribed because I don't like his content. That's all I'm saying about it. No, no, just like and subscribe it, and then watch it. It's it's really in, good. In I that promise. order, just take it on at face value that it's good. Like and subscribe, and then watch it if you're interested. Mostly, yes. he just wants the numbers. So I like numbers. <laughs> anyway.
There will be a link to, to there will be a link to uh, pick up foul play on Steam in the video description below if you're interested. I really like this game enough so that we're gonna be back uh, tomorrow with another episode. So as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me, Josh. Thanks for having me. And uh, we'll see you very soon. And I'll see you in like like 15 seconds, literally. Yes. Yep. Yeah.